create a great game plan. I mean, he gave us a good the layout in spring, as we talked about earlier. And, um, I think that really helped us out a lot of just having some consistency going into this week. So, uh, challenges, you know what you face today, run, 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 maybe pass. I think you pass 33 times today. I'm assuming you're going to look at the film, but it's going to be a little bit different challenge this coming kind of week. Oh, yeah. We already talked about it after the game. Like, I mean, if you're a Wisconsin Badger fan, I'm sure you were all, like, everybody was watching the Purdue and Iowa game. And, uh, I mean, uh, their receiver had over 230 receiving yards. Um, they, probably threw, they probably threw for over, like, they probably threw for over, like, 400 yards. I mean, something crazy. So, they're going to throw the ball. And, again, that that's a challenge on our secondary, and that's something that we have to take this week and we have to take personal. And, um, we got to be, be ready. Did you spend a few safeties pretty much? Uh, every snap, pretty much most tonight? tonight, yes. Yeah, we went through safeties. Because um, they, I mean, a lot of their formations, they had one rec actual receiver in the game. Their, their other eight backs, we call them, were pretty much running backs. So we just put one corner in, and we had another safety come in and just as like an extra corner. Um, but th that just gives us a chance to where the corner doesn't have to be in the box and make, you know, 15 tackles this game because there's no, no need for that. So, Was there anything in that second half, Colin, that they did differently where you all held them to 48 yards total in that first half and second half there were some bigger plays that, that were made? Is there anything that they did differently that stressed you guys in different ways? Yeah, I think they were they were doing kind of what they what their like their identity is in the first half. We had a great game plan for it, and it took, in the second half they did some some stuff where it kind of messed with our rules, messed with our eyes. Um, I mean, there were a couple plays where I was like coming back into the huddle and I'm looking at Scotty, I'm like that that was hard, that was that one was tough. So they, they they did a great job of really throwing some different looks at us in the second half, and um, I mean I think we did for the most part a good job of adjusting, but I mean obviously I mean, there's some plays that we definitely need to clean up to avoid some of those longer drives. With, with Leo's sack and the subsequent fumble, you know, if, from your perspective, what's going through your head on that play? What, do you, what are you kind of your assignments? But then what are you seeing once that play happens where he's, he gets the quarterback and then the, you know, a big scramble for the ball yeah. that happens? Yeah, it was, a, it was a game changer. I mean, we knew that that was the biggest drive of the game. Like if our offense didn't score on that drive, I mean, it was, uh, what, a 13-7 ball game. So we needed we needed a, a stop, at least a stop. And for Leo to go in and, and make that type of play and set our offense up for, um, which eventually you know gave us a, a comfortable enough lead to, which what we ended up needing that touchdown, you know, at the end of the day, um, I mean, it was a game changing play. And, um, I mean, Leo makes those plays all the time though. It's just, that one just came to light in the, in the biggest moment.